Greetings, this is Dr. Larry Ruddle. I'm uh, the Dean of Faculty at Bellhaven University in Houston, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about using the APA template. We think APA formatting is, uh, is important because it's a part of professionalism, conventions that you uh, we use here at Bellhaven Houston, but also you might face the same situation in your organizations where you need to do the same thing over and over so that everybody's on the same page. So we'd like to talk a few, uh, we want to help you with that. So it's, uh, we know you're busy, so we want to, um, so we've provided this template, which is basically a Word file, Microsoft Word file that you can use over and over again that has the formatting already built in to help you along. So let's jump right in. You can find that template in your class uh, here in Bellhaven, Houston. We add it to our courses. So if I'm logged in here at MSL 601, the uh, intro graduate class, but it should be in your others as well. And notice that in the library, there's an option that says APA template. And so I'm going to click on that, and it opens up a, a window. And it asks me, do I want to open the uh, file? And I say, yes, I do. I'm going to click on OK. Now the next step is important. You have to save, do a save as, and depending on which version of Word you're using, uh, it's going to be slightly different, but it's basically under the file menu, and there should be an option that says save as. And then you want to put it uh, with, your, uh, with your class, whatever, wherever you're doing the paper. So I'm going to go to, uh, I've got, here's my Bellhaven folder. And here's my classes. Say I'm doing something for a BIB 360, Global Social Responsibility. So I'm just going to call this uh, uh, Corporate C CSR paper. And now I'm ready to work on that paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the uh, paper a title. And I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm going to replace where it says title of paper, and I'm just going to call it CSR. Uh, uh, report and uh, now instead of uh, uh, since I'm writing it Larry Ruddle I can leave the name there but you should replace that with your name and and it's going to Bellhaven University so that's all set now I need to update the headers in uh, my APA formatting so I'm just going to double click up in that header area now where it says insert and title here there's a reason that it's in all caps because when you type in the title it should be uh, all caps, and then the running header is uh, stays the same. So uh, we're just going to call this CSR report, and notice the page number is correct. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, again, you hopefully you'll see your toolbar there. So you can either close the header and go to the next one. Uh, let's do that. Uh, but uh, or you can simply say I want to go to the where it says navigation, I want to go to the next header. Uh, I've, this has been set up so it has, uh, you can add uh, two different headers in the paper, which is required for APA formatting. So now we're just going to go to the uh, page two and following header and do the same thing. We're going to just change that and just say CSR report. And again, I'm going to uh, now close the header and footer area. And theoretically, you could just double click on the uh, inside the body of the paper, and that would do it as well. So now, see, I'm all set, nice and easy. You got the title page all set. Now I'm ready to write my report. And so, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go to the link while I'm typing back in in my course, where it says uh, where uh, there's a link that says APA guidelines. And what that will do is open up another window that takes us to what we call the Purdue OWL website and it's a, a great uh, short source for uh, APA formatting and notice that there's two types of formatting in APA one is the in-text citations that's the ones where you refer to a, an article or, or a, a book uh, within the document and then the reference list at the end of the paper you have your reference list so those are the two ways that you uh, cite things, and 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 this uh, website gives you guidelines for formatting for both. So what I like to do is keep that open while I'm working on my paper, so I can refer to it. So I'm going to talk about uh, CSR is important. So again, you don't have to indent or anything. You just type uh, to business businesses and communities, 
And so you get the point. And so you just type your paper. When you're ready for the next line, just press Enter. No need for extra spacing between paragraphs. So now I'm ready for my first quote. And uh, so, uh, so I'm going to use that quote. I've already got it typed out, so I'm just going to uh, go over there and pull it um, right here. So I'm going to put, there's my quotation marks, and there's my quote. Uh, and so notice that because the period is part of the quotation mark, I, can, I end the sentence there, and now I'm ready for my citation. And I've got, the, this book has two authors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my APA formatting, and there's the basics there for in-text, and then there's the in-text citations, author, and author. So I want to see, gosh, if I've got two or more authors, how should I how should I put that in the book? And as I scroll down, I see that uh, it says citing an author or authors, and there it is, that uh, if I've got two authors, I just use the last names with the ampersand and then the uh, uh, comma there and the year. And then obviously I would add the page numbers if this is a direct quote. If, you're, if you have three or more authors, you see the uh, use of et al. and the other formatting for the in-text citation. So again, I've got this set up so I can just uh, kind of cut and paste. So again, I'm going back to the uh, my document, and there's the authors. And this book was written in 2004, and the uh, page number was uh, page 17. So I'm just going to put page space 17 and there's my citation. And notice I do not put a period at the end of that citation because the period is uh, is part of the quote. If uh, So that's how that's done. So again, uh, you continue on. If you have a heading, like yeah, this is I want a section on issues. Usually, if the paper's short, two or three pages, there's no need for headings. But if it's longer, four or five, uh, you can have headings. And part of the uh, template is uh, we've already got the proper formatting set up for the headings. So, so I'm just going to use heading one, and boom, that's already formatted properly. Uh, again, if you look at our Purdue Owl Guide. Uh, where it says um, uh, headings and seriation, that section. And it uh, again, you don't have to worry about this because it's built into the template, but it, it shows you the uh, proper formatting for the different levels of your, of your titles in the paper. Uh, but again, you don't have to do that uh, because it's already built into the template, as I said. So one issue, uh, also, we was just mentioned block quotes. I may have a longer quote. Anything over about uh, 30 words is considered a block quote. So, uh, so I'm going to insert this block quote now because uh, it's a block quote. That means I don't don't use quotation marks, but I do have to go to my paragraph option uh, and. Indent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indent. This is how you indent right and left in a paper, and and there's indented. And uh, I don't really need the. And again, I'm going just back to that paragraph feature. I don't need the first line indented in a block quote, so I can take that out of there. And again, I can just put uh, this is a paper that I wrote. Uh, uh, an article I read. So again, now again, the indent uh, in-text citation comes after the period if it's a block quote. But normally the period would come after the citation if it's not a block quote. Okay, so that's uh, again basic overview. That, that's a, that's how you use that template, nice and easy. And when it comes to your references, again, I've uh, put a. Uh, an example in there of how the reference would be would look for a book, for example. But again, to uh, figure out what uh, how you format your references, uh, you simply go to your APA guide and just say, "Hey, there's other sources. Say I've got an electronic source. How do I cite it?" Keep in mind at Bellhaven Houston, we realize that not every type of 
uh, article is uh, covered maybe by this Purdue Al Guide or some of the other references you can use. So just do your best to uh, make a good faith effort to format it properly and, and you should be in good shape. So that's about it. Thank you for your attention and hopefully this will help smooth things over for you to uh, make APA a little more doable and, and uh, easy for you.